the analogy is like a slow cooker. Not that you're being cooked, but we're talking about heat. Things are heating up. We've discussed these on quite a few of the presentations. Fire. Vent. The Notre Dame Cathedral that collapsed. City is burning as it is called. The fire of purification is being turned up. You have been told this. Ah. And what is it doing? It's creating steam. And so therefore comes the presentation of vent done a few days ago. Volcanic eruptions are happening over the globe. The ring of fire is coming alive. The pressure being squeezed kind of in a pressure cooker, but not so hot, but warm enough to make you want to move around. You will be moving around. Make sure you're moving around dancing and not dancing on hot coals. All you beautiful, sexy human souls, spirit speaks. In a way that you understand, it brings lightness to your experience. It put a smile on your face and you probably even chuckled and laughed a bit. Good. You're going to need to learn how to let go and laugh a lot more. Get with the score that has been written. The music of the spheres is now etched on your heart and beginning to express itself. In so doing, where you are not allowing it to play, sound off, you are the one doing this squeezing upon the lotus that so wants to blossom in your own life. Do you understand the plan now? Called perspective. Don't be so selective of what you think is the likely truth. Invite it all into your experience. Put it on your tongue, taste it on your palate. Shall it be the best thing you've ever put in your mouth? How does that feel, dear ones? Are you tasting blood? Are you tasting orange? Or are you tasting a little bit of both? The blood orange, the blood moon, the dark night of the spiritual soul. You have a five to six year window of feeling pressure, feeling the squeeze. Until you take your hands off of the soul that so wants to blossom unbridled and free and released back into its natural wild state, you will always find yourself in a state of confusion not knowing what to do. Ooh! Are you tasting the blood of that which has already been paid for you, the price, the sacrifice that is? Or are you reliving it over and over, self-crucifying to bring everyone else because misery needs company. Misery does not love company. Misery needs company. Be mindful of the company you keep. Most importantly, be good company to yourself. Release the pressure. Release yourself from squeezing the ever-expanding soul. Balloons do stretch. But one day, you continue to blow hard enough, they will pop. You don't want to pop into a sobbing mess, a bloody sobbing mess. If it helps confess all of your woes to someone, so it's brought into the light to be seen. That in and of itself is 50% of what you call work. Work you shall. if you want it.